Law firm web design, the 10 biggest mistakes that lawyers are making when they get their website either redesigned or designed for the first time. Uh, my name is Bill Hauser, owner of the SMB team. We do a ton of marketing for lawyers across the United States, PPC, SEO, web design, and we've heard countless horror stories with lawyers getting ripped off with their website. So the purpose of this video is for you to avoid the mistakes that we've heard other lawyers make so that you don't have to experience the pain that they went through. And also, some of you are gonna watch this video and see that you made some of the mistakes. So you're gonna to have to fix them as quickly as possible because there's gonna be big results that come from solving these mistakes for you. If you're interested in having our company, SMB Team, nationally ranked law firm marketing company, uh, put together a free web design mock-up for your firm for the homepage, go to smbteam.com, submit your information, and get that process started. We'll give you a free website mock-up to show you what your new website could look like. Cool, cool. So let's dive into the 10 biggest uh, law firm web design mistakes. What I got here are, we'll call them reports that I put together before this video. So I'm gonna go through the, the mistakes right here. So number one, not clarifying your law firm's website goals. This is vital. Whenever you go out on any big endeavor, you need to know what the goal is. So many lawyers, the most common denominator is they do not set a goal for their website. Your goal is gonna to relate to your target audience. Your goal is gonna to relate to the way your target audience makes decisions. So are you in a fast decision-making niche of law or a slow decision-making niche of law? For example, personal injury is a fast decision-making niche of law. So you wanna ask for free consultations throughout the website. Uh, let me think, aside from that, like. Estate planning is a longer decision-making cycle, um, business law. So what you'd wanna do there is instead of asking for a free consultation everywhere on the site, ask for an opt-in. Ask them to opt into your email list so that you can nurture those leads. Um, another thing is, do you have a great phone intake system? If you don't, if you don't have a good phone intake system, you probably don't wanna put your phone number a million times on every page of your website. You probably wanna push more form submissions on the website. So understanding that part of your firm, because uh, if you're gonna drop the ball when a lead calls in, why push for that on the website? Internet submissions are growing every year. People love submitting their information online without having the call. So maybe you should just have a form submission focus on your website. What else do I got here? Do you want to rank on page one of Google? That's a big decision. Or do you want your website to just be a place for referrals? You have to think through all these questions. Ask whoever's designing your website, I have here, we're gonna put this out in a blog, how will your website help me achieve goal X, Y, and Z? Think about that. Come up with your goals. Hey, here's our target market. Here's who we want to target. What are, what are my must-haves? What are my nice-to-haves? Okay, in order of priority, list your practice areas in terms of what matters most to you. Then tell whoever's designing your website, how are you gonna help me achieve this goal? How are you gonna help me make this practice area first on my menu? How are you gonna help me do X, Y, and Z? The biggest mistake is not knowing what your goals are with the website. Okay, mistake number two making snap decisions on your website, okay? Making snap decisions. So think of this. Most lawyers that we talk to, they think that the decisions they have to make with their website are, you know, just another task, waste of time, not that important. Uh, I need to get this off my plate. This is busy work, right? Wrong, that is not right. Your website is your online storefront. Things, markets are getting tremendously more competitive online for law firms, we all know this, and your website is your home base for everything, for all of your advertising, right? 
you need to make absolutely sure that you put this as a big priority for you, um, a big potential source of new clients. So, so the mistake here is that you make snap decisions on your website, meaning you go, yeah, let me get this off my plate. Let me just hire you know, a family friend or, or someone to do this quickly. No, that's not good. Okay, this is a place where all of your potential referral partners will visit. Every person you ever interact with is gonna visit your website at one point. Okay, mistake number three, not owning your website. This is a big one, okay? Maybe this should be number one on the list. Uh, this is a huge mistake. So some marketing companies will hold your website hostage. Now, I can feel the, the energy right now shift because a couple of you, some of you watching this video are going to have been through that painful experience. Um, always ask the question, no matter who you're dealing with, if I terminate our relationship, do I get to own my website? Okay, you ask those exact words in question form and you will be mind boggled at the number of companies that will say, no, we, we retain ownership of X, Y, and Z. If that's the case, ask about a buyout clause see what it would cost to buy your URL, buy your content, et cetera, okay? Mistake number four, this is a big one too. Having a non-qualified person build your website, okay? Having a family member, having a new per, you know, secretary you hired for your law firm uh, you know, design your website, not good. You want to work with someone who has been there and done that, okay? Has been through all the nuances of ranking a law firm website in a competitive market and all the trials and tribulations that come with that, okay? So don't have a non-qualified person build your site. Um, that's big. Number five, we have designing your website. This is a mistake, okay? Number five, designing your website for desktop first versus mobile first, okay? We do a lot of case generation and lead generation for lawyers across the country. 80% of the leads we generate come from mobile devices, okay? However, lawyers shop more often through desktop, okay? My company, SMB Team, markets to lawyers. 80% of our leads come from lawyers doing research on their desktops, their laptops or their desktop computers versus their mobile devices, okay? Lawyers love to look at their website on their desktop computer to see all their big awards and accomplishments and how it looks on the desktop, but most of your clients are making their snap decisions to reach out to you in the moment of need on their cell phone. So be, I'd argue, four times more worried about your mobile layout than you are with your desktop layout. Big, big, big takeaway here. Also, some websites that load fast on desktop don't load fast on mobile. So always be aware of that. If your website's loading fast and looks great on desktop, that is not a clear ticket that it's gonna do the same thing on mobile. So question everything on mobile. Okay, so we're halfway through. Um, we're going on to mistake six. Again, before I forget, um, if you want to have us put together a free web design uh, mock-up for your firm, go to smb, small, medium business, team.com, smbteam.com, submit your information, and we'll get that process started. So number six, you ready for this? Woo! Show faces, not badges, okay? So if you haven't gotten this done already, you have to get a professional photo shoot, okay? People buy from people, not badges, okay? So show your face on your website and your clients will feel way more trust in their moment of need to reach out to you. Mistake number seven, okay? Making your content on your website you focused versus them focused. It's a big mistake. We have this experience. We have this. We, we do the we, 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 I, 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 I. 
You lose connection with your audience when you speak in we and I all the time. It is important to have a case results page on your website. That's important. I'm not saying that's not important. What I'm saying is that every page on your website should not be about you. We have this experience. We do this. Here are our badges. Here's the... You would be shocked to see the results we get from making it about the client. Hey, are you going through this? Are you looking for X, Y, and Z result? Are you confused and don't know what to do? Get a free consultation. This is not rocket science. It's emotional intelligence. And all great copywriters on websites know to make it about the person who lands on that site. Now you're thinking, oh, but what if I don't show them my badges and, and, and they go to another lawyer who shows off their badges more? Not gonna happen, okay? People are going to do more research usually after they feel that impulse to reach out to you. Your goal is to get their your website to give them that impulse, okay? And if you're in a long tail niche where it takes a while to make decisions, then get them to opt in through an emotional quick decision. So that is really important. Then after you have you focused content, then start worrying about putting SEO keywords in your blogs and on your pages, okay? So make it about them first. Uh, let's see, mistake number eight. Man, this is, uh, these are some big mistakes. Not budgeting for video, okay? Not budgeting for video. So I highly suggest that you, if you haven't had videos created for your firm, you change that immediately. Just look at statistics on how much more, look at the trend of how people are digesting content nowadays. It's audio and video first. It is the fastest growing segment of content right now. So if everything on your website is written content and photos, it may be time to budget for video. Video is a one-time expense that you can use on all of your follow-up materials and every advertisement follow-up that ever happens. So it is a big ROI that you will get from video. I can't tell you the number of clients we've gotten that saw our video, that we followed up with our video and said, hey, I love the video. I, I felt I, I needed to reach out. I liked X, Y, and Z about you guys. So that's important. So budget for video. Mistake number nine, okay? No above the fold lead capture or phone number. No above the fold lead capture or phone number, okay? On every page of your website, you need to make it so that someone who visits that site at least can make an immediate decision, okay? Click the call, submit their information, boom, boom, boom. You don't want to make your website like a news site where you have to scroll all the way to the bottom to find who wrote the article. That's a stupid example. But you wanna make it so that without scrolling anywhere on the page, on every page of your website, I know that sounds crazy, every page of your website, someone can submit their information without scrolling. Boom, click, boom. Real, because you never know the emotional state someone's gonna be in. They might not need to know any information about you. They may just wanna call and talk, and it could be a huge case. So you need to be there for that opportunity. If they want more information, they will, they will scroll. Uh, put yourself in your own shoes when you're doing research, okay? So above the fold capture for phone numbers, just to, uh, for uh, lead, uh, form submission and phone number, just doing this can literally double the percentage of leads that convert into phone calls for you that visit your website. Okay, last mistake. Number 10, not SEO ready or optimized. Not SEO optimized is what we have here. Huge mistake. I can make literally a 10 hour video on SEO optimization for, for law firm websites. Bottom line is this, you can have the nicest looking website in the world and Google doesn't like it and you're screwed, right? We all know this. So there's a couple of things to keep in mind now. We, we have other content on this and, and we help in other ways with SEO. But the most important thing to keep in mind is you have to make sure that the website loads quickly 
on mobile first and desktop, okay? Now, the more pages you have, the better hosting plan you need to have. So we, we know all the hosts to use based on the size of your website. Um, the next thing is you're usually gonna have the best bet using WordPress and uh, a, a uh, plugin on WordPress, a design plugin, which is called Divi, D-I-V-I, Divi. We've just seen the best success using WordPress as a content management system, CMS, and Divi as your drag and drop editor because of the coding. Um, and then separately from that, if you have a rapidly loading website, you have a good CMS, okay? You're using something like Divi, um, then you need to make sure your website is properly using meta tags and descriptions. And, and the titles of your blogs and pages are strategically using the keywords you wanna rank for for each page. Very simple. Now, backlinking is another component which we're not gonna talk about in this video, but if you follow those things, you'll do a pretty good job. So, those are the 10 biggest mistakes. I hope this uh, research report was helpful for you. Uh, if you already made them, get them fixed quick. We can help with all 10 of these problems if you're encountering them right now but for those of you who uh, we helped you prevent make the uh, making these mistakes I'm really happy about that because I know the pain it can cause uh, last time I'm gonna say this my company's offering free web design mock-ups okay where we will give you a mock-up of how your new website could look like you can go implement it on your own you can hire a developer whatever we want to give value to you um, so uh, submit your information on smbteam.com if you want to take advantage of that. Uh, and if you're interested in SEO or PPC or really anything, go to smbteam.com and submit your information and someone will follow up with you and show you what's worked best for the law firms that we currently work with nationwide. Um, so this is a lot of value, valuable information in this video, so feel free to play it back stop some of these sections there's there's a good number of gems here that can save you a lot of time and money uh, share this with any business owner you know that could benefit from knowing these mistakes a lot of these mistakes uh, uh, also need to be avoided in other niches outside of law firms um, if you have any specific questions put them in the comments below of the video and we will do our best to get back to you um, and you know you leaving comments allows us to make better content. So I really would appreciate it if you uh, had any questions, just leave them below so that we can address them. So be great and don't make these mistakes. So thank you for tuning in.